on the land we call Seattle today, named for the chief who led the Duwamish and Suquamish. Whoa. Tribal descendants drummed and sang an honoring song with a message of welcoming. But the Duwamish people argue the government they formed a treaty with hasn't held up its end of the bargain. It's been a real long journey for me to head up a continuous fight for federal acknowledgement. But as the elder of the tribe, now, I have not given up. Cecile Hansen says she's fought for decades to gain access to health and education benefits allowed to tribes acknowledged by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Now, her great niece, Desiree Rose Fagan, is part of that effort. To be a descendant of Chief South is a honor. It's a complete honor and it's not something that I learned in school. Attorneys say because some women married non-native spouses, the government did not acknowledge those ancestors. They call it an equal protection violation. Some Western Washington tribes have also opposed their efforts, saying the Duwamish people joined their tribes when they were forced to leave their land. This room disagrees. Our fight is not with you. It has never been with you. Our fight is with the federal government. And you should support this. With more education surrounding Native history, an Indigenous Interior Secretary and this new legal effort. This morning, on behalf of the Duwamish tribe, this complaint was filed in the United States District Court. Fagan is hopeful this time the BIA will sign off on its own or the case will succeed. I'm hoping that for our future generations, they won't have to experience what some of us have had to go through. I did speak with the Department of Interior, which manages the BIA. They said that they have no comment at this time. We're live near the Duwamish River. Erica Zuko, King 5 News.